Good morning, YouTubers. Today I'm looking at another issue with the HP 8640B. When I was testing the unit, I went to turn to find tune control to uh, set the frequency, and the rod snapped off. And that was due to this mechanism here would not turn. So this morning I come out of the shop and decided to take it apart and see what was going on. And I had the issue fixed. It now turns. So I'm not going to take this back apart to show you the inside. But uh what I will show you is what's inside of it. It's basically a little bell crank and this rod turns and then the center of that rod is a little pin. There's a spring under the bell crank that pushes up against this rod so it just makes contact and moves it back and forth. And under the bottom there's a little, you can say it's like a little flag pin that turns back and forth that sets the frequency. Well, what had happened is this bell crank had turned so far that it went past the pin and popped up on the edge. That stopped the bell crank from turning. When I tried to turn the rod, it was locked in position and snapped the little nylon uh, adapter here that joins the two together because the rods had a little bit of an angle so they used that nylon and it's cut and like a little accordion so to make the turn well all I did was just push up on the flag pin turn this and get it back centered and then set the range on either side so it would not run off now I've got to address the uh, broken nylon and here's a little bottom picture of what you would look like looking into the end of it when you pull the end cap off and that's your little bell crank that's your rod coming in with the little pin there's a spring under here and that's your little flag pin Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do is insert this back in. And you can see where the null lines broke away. But I think I can take a piece a quarter inch this uh, quarter inch fuel line is all it is and I believe I can put that in and slide it in the oven I think that'll hold that'll give it the uh, springiness that it needs so it can make the bend and still turn the whole unit so that's where we're at right now on this part I don't think it's going to be too bad to fix that so I've already got the mechanism turns fine, it's turning free. So I should be able to fine tune the frequency instead of using the coarse tune. It's very touchy on the coarse tune trying to get that last zero on there. So I'm thinking this will do the trick. Um, using a new camera today, by the way. I uh, went yesterday and bought a Sony HDR. CX 240 high definition. Not a bad camera. And it'll zoom right on in. With the point of no focus. But that should get close enough to do the job that I want to do. Anyway, we'll catch you back in just a bit. And we're back. Well, I didn't want to bore y'all with uh, struggling to get this piece of uh, neoprene hose on. All it is is fuel line. You can bought it 
any automotive store, quarter inch neoprene. And the uh, mechanism turns smoothly. Get a little close up of it. And you can see the nut go in and out. So we we're happy with that. I was thinking this was going to be something very uh, terrible to fix. <laughs> but uh, after I got into it and find out what it was, I uh, was able to go ahead and repair the problem. Um, I will tell you that this unit is sealed and is basically non-serviceable, what the manual says. Um, one thing you want to make sure when you pull this out, you then got a hole into the oscillator chamber. And you want to try to keep everything clean, not let no dust or anything get into it. Well, that could cause some issues. Alright, we're going to reinstall it and fire it up and see what happens. Okay, we're back. I have the oscillator unit back installed. And as you can see, I can now vary the frequency on the fine tune. And that makes it a whole lot easier for dialing up and being right on the frequency. Hit the lock button, it has it locked in at 5 megahertz. Now, I did run into a little problem. The piece of neoprene hose is too thick. When I put the unit in, I could not turn the fine tune. So, after wondering what was going on then, I took it back out and saw an indention in the side of the hose. And what it's doing when you mount the unit back in, it is pressing up against a little can in there. So, uh, <laughs> that had it locked in place. The good thing is, that wasn't hard to fix. Like I say, I had to tear the unit back out. And take a look at it, what to do next. And if you take this piece of hose, and run a split is that actually two ply hose split it and peel the outer layer off leaving the inner layer and you have some nylon string on here and that just pulls right off and I put it back on Install the unit and now there's no problem at all with the fine tune that works fairly well. You can see here on the Syncor CS SC, excuse me, 61 has a very nice waveform. This unit is rock solid and puts out a beautiful waveform. And you can see the frequency is 5 megahertz, with the 2 being on the last digit since it's a 6 digit count on the Syncor. But I'm very, very happy with this repair. I've got one other problem I'll need to address and I think it's just going to be cleaning of a control as I'm varying the modulation up you can see the wave pattern is jumping around a little bit but that's just for my dirty control so I'm going to uh, look at that see if I can clean it it's not too hard to get to so that's about it um, real happy with this generator 
good money spent. So uh, we'll catch you the next time.